I'm out in a park making an immersive field recording with my Amazonic microphone, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. We'll talk about the gear I use, and then we'll get recording and give it a listen. So let's get this set up and we'll dive right in. My work is on the go, so my goal for my setup is for it to be portable and compact. It's modular so I can swap things in and out as needed, and it's rugged so it can withstand the wind and elements. It all comes together in one stand with quick releases everywhere, so setup and breakdown is fast and easy. The biggest gear decision you'll have to make is what kind of microphone do I want to use, and every other decision will follow that. There are the normal questions you might ask about microphones, like what kind of capsules are in it, does it sound any good, and in Amazonics you also have to ask what order is right for me. Let me show you my microphone and talk about that a little more. The most common Amazonic microphones are first order, like this Rode NTSF1 I use that has four microphone capsules on it. There are higher orders. They technically have more spatial information, but they're harder to use and more expensive. And I ran an experiment that showed that most people will find any real difference in immersion between different Amazonic orders. If you want to know more about that, check out my research paper. I've got the pop screen on it here, I put the windscreen over that almost all the time. The mic sits in a shock mount on its clip and connects to a breakout cable that splits the four capsule outputs into individual XLR cables. Those four cables connect to the four XLR inputs on my field recorder, the MixPre 6 2 by Sound Devices. These units are known for their high quality preamps that have low self noise and it can run at a 32 bit depth. I've got all my settings saved to a preset on here. It turns phantom power on on all four channels and links the first knob to control the gain of all four inputs since you want them all the same. If you want to know more about the MixPre, Curtis Judd has some excellent videos on it, which I'll link in the description. It records to an SD card in the back behind the batteries, and on the slide is a USB slot for backup storage that copies over everything when you stop recording. When I want to transfer the files to my computer for editing, I tend to take the USB stick out and plug it into my computer, and I leave the SD card where it is. For more about editing and converting Ambisonics, check out my video on the topic. On the back, I have a Sony battery on a sled by Hawkwoods. The MixPre comes with a AA battery slip, but I wanted something slimmer and rechargeable. On the top is a quarter inch quick release plate where I can connect a boom arm, and on the bottom is a quarter inch plate that slides onto a tripod. Here's the tripod that everything sits on top of. It has telescoping feet for height adjustments and a swivel head on top for adjusting the angle of my microphone. While you can change angle and orientation of the mic and software after recording, I like to find the right spot on location, set it and forget it, and the tripod is how I get that. The recorder slides in on the plate, which tightens up. A mini mic boom arm clips onto that, and finally the mic clip locks into a quick release on top. Let's head back to our location and get recording. <laughs> 